Hi everyone, welcome to lesson three, section three. Uh, this is using the present progressive tense. Uh, I listened to the assignments that you, that most of you uh, completed, and we'll talk about that in the next lesson. Uh, so it's section four. <clears throat> um, a couple of things. This is going to be mostly note taking. You will not need to do an assignment uh, for this lesson. You merely have to watch it and write down and practice any of the examples uh, from the slides. You will need the information from this lesson for the assignments in lesson four and lesson five. But let me repeat, for this unit, there is no assignment. So uh, I'll talk more about that in the next little bit. So this is a bit of a break for you. Uh, it's more about just introducing a verb tense that you already know, and so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, the sections three, four, and five, so will all be part of one bigger project uh, using verb tenses, and we will end with uh, describing single pictures, multiple pictures, and then telling a story. Uh, so let's just jump in and uh, you can go through it. All right, once again, uh, this is just a reminder, important, uh, this lesson will be notes only. All right, so once again, notes only. There is no assignment for this lesson. Uh, and as I said previously, this is a reference for lessons four and five, and we will create stories uh, using what we've learned. I do expect you to take notes. It's part of the class. Uh, you'll have to turn them in and I'll have to check over them. So. Uh, make sure that when there are pictures that you are writing down uh, things that you would say. All you have to do for this particular one is email me. So I've listed my email there, same one. And all you have to type in the actual email is I finished lesson three. That's it. That just lets me know that you at least looked at this slide. Uh, and that's, that's about it. Uh, the stuff here is pretty basic, so I don't want you to spend, you know, too much time recording anything. Okay, uh, the subject line of the email should be the same as always. All right, uh, let's just jump in and start. So this is the present progressive or present continuous tense.
Okay, here is the first chance for you to look at some simple pictures, and uh, I just want you to practice some sentences. Uh, they're pretty simple, and there's always ways to make them better. So, uh, for the example, I've I've done the first one. So, uh, the first simple sentence: Two dogs are running on the beach. Uh, is the the most basic sentence you can make for this picture. Uh, that is the minimum that you can do. If you just said two dogs are running, it's just not enough. Dogs are running, even worse. And let's try to, there are dogs running, let's avoid that kind of stuff. Okay, so whenever you're speaking or writing, you really want to avoid using uh, there is and there are. So uh, with one piece of information, yeah, two dogs are running on the beach, that would be fine. Uh, and if you want to add another piece of information, so in this case, uh, where, where exactly are they running at the beach? And then you could add two dogs are running along the sand at the beach. Uh, so when you're doing these, you know, either write them down, speak them, but there's multiple ways. You could say, you know, a yellow dog and a white lab or a golden retriever and a white lab are running. Uh, two happy dogs are running at the beach to their owner. Uh, there's no, there's multiple ways to do everything. Uh, so try to not be happy with just saying one sentence. Try to say, you know, find two or three ways uh, add adjectives uh, when you're doing this. Okay, uh, so remember to write this stuff down uh, so you just have some notes on it. So you'll be doing this for uh, this slide, these three pictures, and then there are three more on the following.
Okay, here's a more advanced uh, photo, and this is going to be more what we are doing uh, in the next lesson. So as you can see, there are seven different numbers of people doing different things. Um, the order doesn't matter. Uh, you could go from number one to number seven. You could uh, do them in clockwise order. It, it, you could go from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, there's no correct way to do it. So when you are doing something like this, uh, it's important to pick, pick a start point and go with it. So if you want to start with number one, right? Uh, simple. An old man is reading a book, right? And that's the minimum. Better. Uh, an old man with a white beard is reading a book on a red bench in the park. Okay, and I know that that's not going to be super easy on the first try, uh, but you could build out that way, couldn't you? So if you take a look at uh, number six, the girl, right? Uh, the easiest sentence would be uh, a young girl is reading. And then a young girl is reading what? A young girl is reading a comic book. And then you could say, well, is she walking, sitting, you know, how is she? So a young girl is sitting on the grass and reading a comic book. And then you could say a young girl is reading a comic book under a tree in the park. Or, and then you could talk about red bag or her glasses or anything. But the more details uh, you use, it's with words that you already know. So uh, I strongly recommend making three, four sentences for each of these and also maybe writing them down in the notes. All right. So because you will see this picture again, uh, this picture will be used in the next lesson. So uh, get familiar with it because there's a lot of stuff going on. OK, so give, you, give yourself some time uh, to practice this. Uh, and make sure to write it down. So feel free to pause or do whatever you need to do.
All right, here's a similar uh, slide to the one that we saw with the positive form of present progressive. Uh, and, you know, nothing here is new. In the negative form, and negative doesn't mean bad, negative just means the, uh, the not action. So uh, instead of I am running, I am not. And really it's best to try and use am not, is not, are not. Uh, contractions isn't and aren't uh, can get you into trouble. And we'll ex I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you know, be very careful with, and, and make sure I recommend he is not, you are not it's, uh, when you are doing these. So the next slide is actually going to be the exact same park picture. And what we'll do is I want you to practice uh, saying what people didn't do or are not doing. Okay, so let's just take a look at that. And as you can see, uh, we have the exact same photo as we did previously, uh, only this time the question is, what are they not doing? And let's look at the same two groups. So it, this is less important than the slide where we were saying what people are doing. Uh, very, you know, seldom will, will we explain what someone isn't doing because, you know, there's an infinite number of things they're not doing. Uh, for number one, for instance, an old man is not playing baseball at the aquarium, right? And all you have to do, you would substitute any of these things. So uh, what the only thing that's important here, what I would do is just practice, you know, maybe one or two where you mix the actions. So you know, we have reading, we have writing, we have pushing, we have feeding, we have taking picture, we have climbing. What you might do uh, is use all of the verbs that other people are uh, to, to show how someone isn't doing something. For, for example, uh, let's take number four, feeding the ducks, right? So what we could say if we switched one and four, an old man is not feeding ducks near the pond. So you're essentially, all you're doing is switching the subject from the positive sentences uh, with someone else. And then that just clear, that makes it negative. It's also an easy way to just quickly sound fluent. Okay, so uh, we have a subject of an old man. And then for number two, uh, I'm not sure what your subjects are, but you could say uh, a woman, a mom, a babysitter, the the babysitter, a sister. Uh, and then if you want to talk about the boy, you know, a young boy, a child. Uh, number three, we have a girl, a uh, young girl, student, anything like that. And then a woman, middle-aged woman, and then you know, same with five, six, seven. So, you know, you keep the same subjects, okay? But try, don't use pronouns, okay? If I say he, that well, there's one, two, three, four, there are four different males, right? So he doesn't help for this. Actually five with the, with the, the kid in the stroller, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're using nouns, okay? Identify what you're talking about. 
uh, when you're doing all of this stuff. Okay, so once again, you know, this is just a quick refresh um, as far as, you know, number six, you could say, you know, the girl with glasses is not climbing a tree. Easy peasy. Okay, so, you know, give those a try, write some down, uh, and let's move on. And here is uh, just a little refresher as far as looking at the base form of verbs. So what we used in the previous lesson uh, to the uh, present continuous form, the ing form. So, you know, cook, eat, speak versus cooking, eating, speaking. And so we'll go from that. Uh, and again, this is just a review. You, at this point, you probably already know this is more of a spelling uh, thing. But in this class, spelling doesn't matter. So uh, you know, this is just for your own personal uh, notes. Okay, um, we will go over the ending here on the next slide. Okay, and that'll do it for this lesson, all right? Uh, like I said, this is going to be a package between lessons three, four, and five. So uh, if you've gotten to this point, um, just make sure that you keep your notes because you'll need them for the next unit. And uh, just send me an email with the same format as you do for all of your other assignments uh, with just simply, I finished lesson three. And all that is is a check, okay, to make sure that you just kind of watched it. Okay, uh, and like I said, I know that this is pretty, you know, straightforward and simple, and it's going to really ramp up in difficulty in the next two, combining, you know, the present tense with the past tense and the future tense, and uh, creatively telling a story. Okay, uh, the next video will be up uh, shortly, so you should be able to see them all within the next, you know, 24 hours. Okay, uh, enjoy, have a nice night.